All right, today's video is the calibration of a Zimmer ATS 3000. So first step, turn it on, hold down your main or left side inflate deflate buttons. If you read the self-test, then you should get the word calibration on the screen. Boom, there you go, let go. All right, nothing hooked up. All zeros, press pressure to zero. Good to go. All right, now you're gonna need pressure meter. I'm using a biotech BP pump. I made a couple uh, adapter hoses with these tiny little male connectors here and then well, you know, bayonets here. Anyway, so you want to put this in the main. So this should be done every six months or anytime you've done any kind of repair if you have to physically open the system. Anyway, so you need a pressure meter that can go up to 700 millimeters of mercury or 13.5 something PSI. Um, check your system, make sure it's calibrated, make sure you don't have any leaks. It's gonna lead to all kinds of problems. All right, anyway, so first step, zeroed. Now we're gonna go press this inflate button here. Go 50, we need 50. Um, you need to main cuff sense ports, and that's gonna be the second red, second blue. All right, so we're gonna make a source, we got Diana. All right, 50. Fitty, start our pump. Pump just stabilizes. There we are. Let me give it a few seconds, but it's stable. Press the pressure button on the left. Hear that beep? That means it's got it. Hit the inflate button, go to the next setting. Two fitty. Okay. Same thing. Fifty. Let's stabilize. Don't be in a rush. Think we just gotta, you know, let it sit for a little bit. All right. Next up is the four seventy-five. Unfortunately, this BP meter I'm using can't do four seventy-five, so I have a rig I had to build. These are not okay in uh, Midland. Don't do these. Yada yada yada. Oh yeah, the thing I'm supposed to tell you. If you go too high pressure, that's what you get. And then you gotta start all over again. All right. So, back up where we were. Let me know if we can find this. And then go over here. All right, once you hit 475, you're done with this part of the calibration. Hold down the left side inflate deflate button. There's manual calls. Right. Click here. Unhook everybody. Same as before. Let it zero. All right. So now we're doing the reservoir. So you're going to go with the first and the third on this one. Ready to zero. Hit. Remember, inflate again. So we're gonna skip the 50 and go right to the 250 on this one, all right? This is gonna be 250, 475, 700 millimeters mercury. Uh, so nine something and then 13 and a half. <sighs> oh boy, boy. You see me holding this piece of junk? Go ahead and make sure you know, you've got quality equipment and setups and you're not leaky like this. I think two of the bayonet connectors in this thing have minor leaks. That's stable. Hit it. All right. 74. Now we're going 475. Off the janky town. You don't have the proper desk going for this thing. You just play your boss, you can't do it. And figure out what test equipment you need, the information, sell it, show them, get your stuff calibrated. It's okay to make your own tubing and hoses and accessories and, and kind of rigs and stuff, but it gotta be quality. I mean, think about it, and this stuff could be on you, on you one day if you're in the hospital, your kids, Wife, your husband, boyfriend, your girlfriend, your brother, your sister. 
somebody you actually like and you want to be okay. So, you shouldn't have asked these things. This is just a video from so half asking actually. This thing's never going to see me fly today. Let's go into another stupid expo show. Up. The 700 spot. My gauge going slowly. No one rushes, don't go too crazy. If you pass and go too far, you're going to get that amp fail message again. You're going to start this whole process all over again. And the last step, don't screw it. Just put the rings up. And back off this thing a little. Go right past too quickly. Boom, boom, boom. Once you finish your cow, inflate, deflate, hold both down. Calibration complete. If you don't see this message, you ain't complete. You gotta start all over again. Shut your shit. Anyway, that's the whole calibration. Uh, also, check your battery. Sealed lead acid. It's like a 12 volt, half the size of an actual brick. Um, every two years for sealed lead acid. All right, that is it. That is all. Reshoot number two done.